interesting to see what is happening here. We have the third crypto boss dying. And this one, he's a Russian guy. Check this out. <clears throat> this is a Russian billionaire. Uh, I can't even say his name. Vacheslav Tehran, 53, the co-founder of trading and investing platform Libertex, died after his helicopter mysteriously crashed in a resort town near Monaco. The vehicle plummeted on November, 25, uh, November 25th afternoon, killing Mr. Tron, who had lived in Monaco for a decade, as well as a veteran pilot. Now, what's interesting about this is this was beautiful weather, wasn't bad conditions, veteran pilot, right? And um, this helicopter went down very tragic, very unfortunate. Um, but we've been tracking this and we've been watching this closely. What we're looking at here is the third crypto boss. This guy, um, you know, I, I, we're just now hearing about this one, but apparently it was on the 25th of November. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> he is the latest in a growing list of powerful, powerful people in Vladimir Putin's Russia to abruptly die. Yeah, we've heard um, they're often reported as suicides. They've included energy, oil, finance, and shipping bosses, as well as oligarchs and millionaires. But three crypto stars have all died in recent weeks. Um, Tiantan Kolander, 30, died in his sleep last week, while millionaire Nikolai Mushagin, 29, drowned on a Puerto Rican beach. Now, what Nikolai had to say before his passing was very interesting, wasn't it? Very interesting. But nonetheless, um, this situation is getting real out here. I, I mean, it really is. I mean, while Sam Bankman Freed is able to parade around and show up to the book deal and get some softball questions from CNBC, right? Uh, these guys... Are, are literally uh, getting taken out. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you wanna support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.